Jason coming to you, bloodchurch.org. It's been a long day, so just now getting to a video, changing careers and going through, um, you know, just an adjustment in my, in my personal life, but it doesn't take me away from, you know, my real job, which is, uh, you know, preaching the word of God, of God. So I'm, I'm here to do that on this channel and I love each and every one of you guys so sorry for the delay in, in, in the Bible verses looking at 2 Corinthians 8 12 for if there be first a willing mind it is accept, accepted according to that a man hath and not according to that he hath not so this verse is really just about finding the will of God and it goes well with Col uh, Colossians 4 12 which we'll look and here in a minute, but you got to remember, God will test you on what you're willing to do for Him, and not according to what that you have not, of course. So, in terms of you know your Christian life, the Christian's response to that test of of the course of life, if you want to call it that, you know, it sort of it sort of runs its course in different ways, but it could be something like. You know, someone has a child and the baby's taken from them. Someone loses their wife or their husband. Um, someone gets injured in a car accident and spends their life in a wheelchair or on crutches. Or, you know, maybe you have to die. You go out and you, you die preaching the word of God. And, um, you know, would you be willing to do that for the Lord? Would you be willing to lay down your life and your, and your, and your income and your wealth and serve God on a, on a trip, on a missionary trip? So, you know, these are things that God will accept even if the person's not able to do it. And that's what you have to remember. Let's let's go over to Colossians 4.12. Let me, let me flip there. Epirus, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluteth you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. And um, verse 13, For I bear him record that he hath a great zeal for you and them that are in Laodicea. And um, That's a verse that, you know, certainly being a servant of Christ, uh, always laboring, fervently, and with prayers, standing fast on the will of God. So again, we're talking about the will of God. And, um, you know, it's important to understand, um, you know, these things and what God has stored for us in life is not always what we think our life should be like um, I'm sure you can recount many times in your life that you felt you needed something you wanted something you had to have it and it didn't it, you know the, either the prayer or what you thought you really needed God didn't put in your life um, it wasn't the right time it was a no or it, you know it wasn't right for you and then later you discover why and again the question is how often do we put ourselves out there for the Lord to the will of God? Maybe that's why that, that prayer didn't get answered the way you, what you had hoped. Maybe you need to grow more in order to receive. Maybe you need to serve our loving Lord Jesus Christ more and more. And so that's my prayer for you that you guys will find that this in these final days, the, you know, the will to serve, no matter what happens in your life. Give it to the Lord. God bless and have a great day.